Здра... Здравейте! Аз съм ненабайт технологист. And together with my team, we are developing a new, a new Pi sensor, so, which must be uh, more efficient and more uh, active. And so it's based on enzymes to detect toxic compounds in food. Um, and so, uh, enzymes are uh, uh, catalysts which are effective and uh, can detect specific uh, target molecules called substrates. Uh, but unfortunately, these enzymes are um, sensitive a few and are expensive. And so, science is always, always asking, can we use these enzymes more efficient? Can we use, uh, can we reuse these enzymes? Can we protect these enzymes? And so when we use enzymes to detect, uh, um, make a chemical reaction, they do have a, a, a result, good result, but you see, enzymes are gone. We, we don't have enzymes anymore. So for us uh, as a chemists, We can make uh, new systems for using enzy enzymes more es uh, efficiently through using, through using membranes which could have uh, tiny nanoparticles and so we can immobilize uh, enzymes over these tiny nanoparticles over its surface to have as immobilized enzymes which are very active and could be reused many times. But unfortunately, it's not so simple to make this. As for enzymes, to act accurately, it must have an active site which uh, must be protected and not immobilized over the nanoparticles. And so it must be immobilized in the correct way. And so to make this, polymers can help us a lot. Where we can, where we can use polymers which are chain-like <laughs> molecules. <laughs> chain-like molecules uh, built from uh, small tiny molecules uh, where we can immobilize enzymes over, over uh, these polymers to have a better immobilization and a bigger amount of enzymes immobilized over a single nanoparticle. <laughs> <laughs> or more, we can, we can be build a more, <laughs> a more bigger uh, polymer structure and so we have many and many enzymes immobilized. Another approach we can sell it is to make over this uh, small nanoparticles a mesoporous structure which we include in pores where we can immobilize our enzymes inside these pores and so <laughs> And so when we zoom more inside the pores we can find that the enzyme could be immobilized and accumulated uh, easily inside these pores where, where it will be active When we have a substrate, <laughs> when the substrate comes, enzyme can act accurately on the substrate. And so, by having by having such membrane, we can we can protect the enzyme, we can protect the enzyme, reuse the enzyme, and when we have uh, food or drink, we can <laughs> we can easily detect uh, with a good signal that we have. Uh, uh, Our substrate. <laughs> Thank you.